Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and this is not Lumber Tycoon 2 tonight. <clears throat> so, yes, I'm in Lumber Tycoon 2, but as you can tell, I am not feeling well at all. I have been getting more and more sick throughout the day, so this is not going to be a playthrough. It's not going to be your normal video, um, because there have been a couple of things that I found today on my channel that I am I'm mad about. I don't get mad. I normally you could you could d destroy my base. You could delete my base completely. You could everything about it and it still would not make me mad as I am right now about something that's going on. And I know that I I normally don't show my feelings this bad, but I could not believe what I was seeing when I saw this today. So I open up my my video to check it today and there is a scam advertisement by these guys right here roblox hacks get unlimited roblox that is the advertisement that was playing on my video as i'm sitting here watching it like i started up my video and this popped up are you kidding me roblox are you kidding me youtube and are you kidding me google Google AdSense has taken money and said, yeah, we'll advertise for you, no problem. And this is what came up. That is unacceptable. This is, th that is wrong. The, I am a family-friendly channel. YouTube has demonetized me saying, I am not suitable for most advertisers. This right here is not suitable for my channel. This goes against everything that I stand for. Second of all, it's against the terms of service inside Roblox. So if you, anybody YouTube is listening right now, this is wrong. It's got to go. This is illegal in my mind. Like, what, how did you let this on? <sighs> okay. Second of all, I thought, oh, maybe it's just a fluke. Maybe, maybe they missed something and it's, it's okay. No, I go and I sp watch another one of my videos that had been demonetized and got approved to to have advertisement on and this shows up at the bottom get 500,000 robux advertisement by google ads this again is not allowed it is against the terms of service of roblox you cannot do that do not click on those if you see them out there report them because you cannot do that the other thing that they're doing is they are scamming. They are stealing. They, this is... <sighs> now, because I am a family friendly channel and because I do not believe in this, I'm giving you a huge warning. Do not click them. Do not, like if you can hit the exit button on the top right hand side and it, and it says, oh, was this in the way? No, say report, like report these because you cannot do this. I don't know if it's, it's probably not against YouTube's rules, but it's definitely against Roblox rules. And Roblox, if you're listening, you need to stop this as well. I'm talking to the Roblox development team. I'm talking to Roblox developers. I'm talking to Roblox Corp. I'm talking to everyone. Like, you can't let this happen. Why is this happening? You, Dennis Daly got in trouble for this. Why are you allowing other people to do it? Just saying. Okay. Enough of my rant, <clears throat> and let's see here. Fade that out. My next point inside my Roblox Tycoon Lumber Tycoon Two vlog. I guess that's this is what this is. It's a vlog. <clears throat> is back to a happy note. Back to a happier code. Yes. Um, somebody asked me. Well, code you used to make bots. So how is that any different than exploiting? Okay, a bot is not an exploit. An exploit is literally injecting code into the program, injecting code into Roblox, uh, into the, the oh, how do I explain this? So Roblox, the program that pops up that you play inside, you're literally changing the code inside the DLL, inside the program itself to run scripts, to run your own code inside the game. And that is called injection, that is, uh, m memory manipulation, um, game hacker used to do this. Um, there's another one. Uh, there's, there's a whole bunch of different programs that do this. That is 
<clears throat> that is technically an exploit. A bot is an external program that controls your keyboard and your mouse. So it simulates the human side of it. It does not inject or give you advantage or cheat. Um, to demonstrate this purpose and to show that I still do, like I still do automations, um, I do automations for work. Um, at my work we have, like if you get an email in a certain mailbox, you take and you can read that email, take certain snippets out of that email that correspond to an order number and that order needs to be placed with a certain, anyhow, I do the automations for the programming behind that. Um, robotics. Uh, doing the robotic programming to tell it to lift up a box, place the box on the shelf, stuff like that. That's the huge difference. The reason I'm highly against the exploits is because literally you are cheating. You are breaking a rule, not bending a rule. Does that make more sense? I hope that makes more sense. <clears throat> Anyhow, to demonstrate my point, um, I got my little character here. And I'm just gonna set him right here in the corner. And why am I setting him in, in the corner? Because I have to have a starting point. And in order for this to run and work properly, he's got to start somewhere. So right here is my little corner start point. And I'm not going to show you the actual script that I made. Yeah, I said script. No, it's not an injection Lua script. It is an Autoit script. Um, by the way, I do have uh, my old botting videos, they are still on there on how to make a bot. Same process that I used for uh, Club Penguin is the same process I used over here. No, it is it is not against the terms of service if you stay seated in your seat. If you get up and walk away and your character is still moving around by itself, technically you violated the terms of service. But if you're sitting in your seat and your character is moving around because a program is manipulating your keyboard and your mouse, you are not violating the terms of service. They could probably change that on me now that I've shown this, but <coughs> again, like I said, um, for demonstration purposes only, my hands are off the keyboard, my hands are off the mouse. My little character, he's gonna be walking up his ramp. And basically the reason I wanted to do this and show you that he can go in an infinite loop in one particular circle, like it, this isn't doing anything. This is literally walking my character around circles. But the reason I wanted to do that is so he would have something to do in the background while I open fan mail because I went in my mailbox today and I got tons and tons of letters. Look. They're from like all over the place and there's a little smiley face and then I got this huge one here. Hold on. Gotta make sure there's no return address on it. And then I got a huge one here. So I'm gonna read these off. Hopefully there will be enough time for you guys. I'm I'm really not feeling good. I'm going to go to bed early and I'm gonna take medication so I feel better. <clears throat> and then hopefully in the morning I will be doing much better so tomorrow I will I will try and get on and do a normal video uh, do some Roblox and stuff like that but until then I will read off some fan mail which probably isn't the best for my voice but all right this first one is gonna be from Justin uh, I won't read out the, the last names and I got to make sure I'm not showing stuff on camera okay cool <clears throat> Uh, at the very top of the page, it says, you can say this on cam. Dear Code Primate, hello, my name is Justin. I've been watching you since your first Lumber video every weekday. I would see if you were online. I would see if you were online. If you were, I would see it, what game you were playing and keep joining servers. Uh, the thing is that I've never gotten into a game, sad face. Uh, in lumber, I need help with getting getting in wood and making a gold bridge, uh, and getting the golden uh, the golden brash and getting spook wood and getting the power and making money. <coughs> wow, <laughs> that's a lot, a lot of goals. I've restarted twenty times because people keep scamming me. Uh, if somebody scams you, don't restart. Um, keep going. Keep moving forward and just chin up it happens i've been scammed multiple times so don't don't feel bad um feel pity for the person that scammed you 
and forgive them because getting mad and getting angry is it's only going to make you mad and angry not them they don't care so okay i've restarted 20 times uh, people keep scamming me um so one weekday can you around and then he says a time and a time zone uh i would be glad to play with you smiley face uh justin i would love to but the problem is <coughs> i get three hours a day to play games and to record and do my YouTube things. All the other times, like a lot of you have been asking me to sign my base and I'm either at work or I'm driving my car or I'm eating dinner with my family. Like my normal life happens. That's why I always tell you guys like, I'm not really a YouTuber. I, I've got the three hours at nighttime that I can do this stuff. So um, I would love to play with you. Um, I hope that we can do it in the time that like I get at nighttime. And if you need to know, in between the times of 8.30 and 11.30 central time in the U.S., that's when I can play. And it, I might not be right on at 8.30 because I've got two kids. They both have ADHD just like I do, and I get distracted, they get distracted, and I might not make it out until 9, 9.30. So please forgive us, but that's, that's how it goes. Uh, I would be glad to play with you. Also, can I have a real life signature, please? That would be great. Thanks. Sincerely, Justin, and then he says his last name. P.S. You are my favorite YouTuber. And then he's got like a Campbell suit. Mm. <laughs> Sticking this tongue out. Thank you, Justin, so much. Yes, I will write back to you and I will give you a real life, real code primate signature. Um, I will probably wait until after I feel better because I don't want to be like licking the envelopes and then sending you a diseased envelope that would be <laughs> it's no good <laughs> it's no good at all okay uh next is from eric uh i'm gonna i'm gonna not say the last names just so um like children laws you, you can't post children's names and stuff like that so i will keep them safe keep them secure Okay, hold on, there's two in this one. There we go. So first off, right off the bat, I see a drawing of a rookie, rookie axe, but it's it's got the, uh, the Sturdy Guns logo on it. That's awesome. So thank you for that. I'm, I'm probably gonna hang all these up in my, uh, in my cubicle at work. It'd be cool if I could like hang them up on the back or something, or like put them up on a wall and use that as my backdrop. So Eric writes, "Hello, Code Primate. My name is Eric, and I watch you. Uh, I watch some of your old videos and all of your new ones. I get happy when your new video pops up in my notifications, and I watch them as soon as possible. I mainly enjoy your Lumber Tycoon 2 videos, and I hope you continue to do them." Uh, and I hope that you have a good day. Um, Xbox Gamer Tag, and then he gives his Xbox Gamer Tag. He says his Roblox Gamer Tag. P.S. You can read this on your YouTube video, please. I'm your biggest fan. Eric, thank you so much for the letter. And I will, I will write you back and give you a signature and all that good stuff. Oh, by the way, um, anybody who does write me, I will try and get you a signature. Um, on a personalized letter so you do not have to send your own envelope you do not have to send a piece of paper saying hey sign here I will I will write my own letter I will type it up because I have horrible handwriting and I will sign it and send it to you so all right next up is <coughs> code primate and <laughs> this is this is what I was talking about so hold on. is there any more in there no that's it that's good so this person sent a $5 bill. Um, thank you. I will send your $5 bill back to you, by the way. And they sent, I don't wanna show the address, there we go. They sent an envelope to send back a letter. I, I will send it back and yes, I will use your letter because it has the return address and stuff on it, but. Okay. Uh, now, I'm not sure, because there there was a little bit of confusion on this, but <clears throat> there's a part that says, do not read this bit, 
out, uh, out and it says, okay, now read this aloud. So I don't know if you wanted to, me to say the first part. I'm going to go ahead and say the first part. Uh, hello, Code. I'm your biggest number one fans. I have watched all your videos in Lumber Tycoon 2, and you have inspired me to play it much more than I used to. And then it's got one of those faces, the XD, like that. Um, <clears throat> and then it says, do not read this part out loud. Okay, done. Um, okay, now read this aloud. I really love your videos. I have one question, please. How did you make slash get the rookie axes that you gave away? And here is another sheet for your signature and please send it back to me. Thank you. And then she did the XD smiley face. So again, I will sign a, uh, I will do my own letter and I will sign it and send it back to you because I want to keep like all of these as mementos. Um, how did I get the ax? Uh, I found a guy at like one of the fairgrounds that's in town, like a ways in. And they had, um, they had samurai swords and guns and stuff like that. And what I did is I walked up to him and I said, hey, could you do custom axes? Like, could could I have you make an axe for me? And he goes, yeah, yeah, that'd be no problem. I, I could do that. And um, that's when I said, okay, it will look like this. And I explained it. And then I said, I want to do it for my 50,000 subscriber giveaway. He goes, for, for like YouTube or something like that? I said, yeah, I'm a, I'm a YouTuber. And the kid that was sitting next to him was playing on his iPad, looks up and goes, I know you, you do the lumber videos. I'm like, yeah, yeah, the rookie acts. That's what I wanted you guys to make. And from there, I mean, I got their email address and everything else. Uh, they ended up making the custom rookie, rookie axes, which by the way, I still have to ship these out. The last two winners, they are coming, I promise. And I will get them out to you. The, the, these are the signature ones. Um, all the other ones don't come with my signature if you buy them from from Sturdy Guns. Uh, but if I'm, if I'm ever at like a convention or something and you have it on you, then yeah, I will absolutely sign it. I'll sign anything you got. So anyhow, that's the story. Um, he sent me one for free as a prototype, and I showed a picture to Josh. He's like, "Those are so cool." I said, yeah, so um, how much do you want to charge for him? He goes, oh, I don't want any money for him, but can I get one? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, dude, that's totally cool. So that's that's the story in between uh, Defaultio giving his permission to use his design and then Sturdy Guns, um, they needed some kind of contract basically saying that they had proof of copyright and stuff like that. And under the Roblox uh, laws, uh, terms of service, he owns all of his content, so very cool. Uh, okay, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get moving. Oh my gosh. Well, I guess, I guess I am moving. <laughs> my little character is just moving around in the back. Go, code primate. I just, I wanted to make a simple, simple little bot that like doesn't really do anything, but just moves around. He's so cool. All right, the next one is going to be, okay, it does not say a name. I have pre-opened these and read them. All right. Special attempts to draw something. Okay, I don't know if you wanted me to read this aloud, but I'm going to. <laughs> Dear Code, hi Code. <clears throat> this is just a quick letter on some random things. He <laughs> he, anyway, let's talk about how I stumbled upon you. So one day I wanted to dupe an ax in LT2. So in YouTube uh, search bar, I inputted how to dupe ax in LT2. When I clicked on your video, I was like, wow, this dude's good at explaining. So, oh wait, did he fall out? Oh no, he's good. Uh, wow, this dude is good at explaining. So then I started to watch your other videos from your channel and guess what happened? I subbed. Oh my gosh, I am so proud of myself. So I started watching all of your streams. I stopped because I was getting really busy in real life, but I still watch you. Don't worry, hee <laughs> hee. I hope you send a letter back. I will. <clears throat> uh, please put your signature on your letter that you're sending back. I will. Big smiley face with colon D. 
Uh, I'm pinning it on my wall. That's why. Anyways, if you're uh, if you receive this letter, uh, I just wanted to let you know that you are or that you're awesome. And then now my special attempt to draw. Uh, oh, I gotta cover this butt. <laughs> and there's a little caricature right there, and it says, "Wow, derpy." <laughs> it's not derpy. It's awesome because you you drew it and you made the attempt and you did like you did an awesome job. It looks great. I don't know why people do that. They they always say, "Oh no, it's not really that good." No, it's awesome. You took the time to actually draw me and to draw my character, and, and you took the time. I love it. So, that's that one. Next, uh, this one is from Kaylee. Oh gosh, K A Y L E I G H. Kaylee, Kaylea, Kaylea, Kaylee, Kaylee. I'm just gonna say Kaylee. I hope it's right, Kaylee. Um, by the way, I already gave the two little hearts. There was a blue heart and a um, red heart. The blue heart was for Oliver and the red heart was for uh, for Hope. And then this one, it says for everyone. And it's a big heart. Heart for all. That's for everyone. So, and then I'll fold that one back up. I'm losing my voice really quick, so I, I'm, I'm going to need to get some rest in. Did you give me permission? Please comment on my channel. Uh, for code. Okay. Dear Code Primate, thank you so much for sending me back the fan mail. As uh, you know, I love your channel so much. I'm your biggest fan, and I am so happy that you sent me fan mail. I was jumping up happy when I got your letter, and you are the best YouTuber ever. I mean, I watch you every day. Oh my gosh, there's no periods. <laughs> every day. I I always try to join you and my mom always lets me stay up so I can try to join you and sometimes you are in my in a VIP server and I always am going to send you fan mail <laughs> from Kylie. Uh, I, by the way, Kylie is uh, K's Kids K's Kid Show. K A Y S K I D S H O W. So, if you want to go subscribe to her, go check out her channel as well. Please comment on my channel. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you, Kylie. Kate, Kaylee, Kaylee. Thank you, Kaylee, for thank you, Kay's Kids Show, for subscribing and for being an inspiration to other kids who want to do YouTube as well. And huge thank you to uh, Kaylee's mom for letting her stay up to watch the show because that is awesome too. And I, I will write you a letter back. And then this one is from Tristan. I won't say the last name, Tristan. Tristan, Tristan. Wait, is there another? Nope, that's it. Okay, so this one, this is like poster size. This is gonna be really cool on my uh, cubicle. Lumber Tycoon 2, for you, Heath, thank you. And then he's got the little YouTube symbol down there. Drawn by, oh. Drawn by Tristan. AKA Villian X Gamer YT and then tweets and all that. I don't know how well you can see that, but there you go. Or if it got blurry at all. <laughs> and then the letter. Letter, 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 letter. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> it says right at the top, read on video. Dear Code Primate, first of all, thank you so much for letting me be on one of your videos. It was the best, and I really hope we can do it again sometime. Second of all, I didn't see and know you were who you were when I first played with you until I saw your vids. And then and you have inspired me to continue to pursue my dreams of becoming a famous YouTuber like you. I also want to thank you for the signature on my base and the money it helped out a lot you're the best friend you're the best friend and youtuber i could ask for keep it up i hope you have a great success in the future and be sure to tell your kids hope and your son uh, his name is oliver by the way that they have the best dad ever i saw the video of them crowding you 
crowding me. <laughs> Sorry for the mistakes. Uh, finally, I really want Defaultio and or other YouTubers and stuff to sign my base. If you could help out with that, that'd be great. Thanks. Sincerely, your friend, Tristan, a.k.a. VillainXGamerYT. P.S. You can always help my channel grow a little more. Can you, oh, can you also help my channel grow a little more? Uh, and then post postscript says, please hang this picture and write back. I will do it. Uh, so check out villain X gamer Y T V I L L A I N X G A M E R Y T. <coughs> thank you for the letter, Tristan. And thank you for the drawing. I will hang them and I will do awesomeness. Okay, that uh, goes in there. That was red. Oh my gosh, my voice just cracked. <laughs> okay, and then this is the one that's got the smiley face on the back, and it says right on the front, fan mail. <laughs> that's awesome. All right, here we go. Uh, and then this was on November 11, 2017. Uh, Roblox username, and then I'm not going to give it out because they didn't ask me to... Oh, you may read on camera. Uh, Roblox username is Bulgy, B-U-L-G-E-E. -E. Dear Code, I really enjoy watching your videos. They make me laugh and they give me ideas like the door bridge on to the swamp. I started my door bridge when you did, but I messed up and had to lower, had to lower the entire thing. So it's still not done. And I only do three doors a day. I also do a new door glitch. I would love to show it to you and how to do it. Oh, that would be awesome. I do want to see it. I also did uh, the trailer glitch, but it always I always got flung out of the map. So I put up three posts at each corner and it helps a lot. Your videos have helped me helped many people with their Lumber Tycoon 2 and other games. Please make more Roblox Studio videos. I've been planning on it, but it's it's just time. Time is what's what I'm lacking and missing. You may read this on video. Uh, Timmy. P.S. A friend told me that there will be Candy Cane and Pinkwood this winter in Lumber Tycoon 2. Well, um, I can't say anything about the Candy Cane axe, but the Pinkwood used to be in-game, and it was removed. So... <clears throat> the uh, reason it was removed was because it was originally a uh, a glitch with the oak wood. Every once in a great while, you would get a pink tree with a pink center instead of the normal oak. Uh, not the elms. The elms are the big ones. The oaks are all the little green ones, or the brown and green ones that are around the main biome. Okay. <clears throat> and before my voice finally disappears on us for the night... Here goes the last one, uh, and I'm not sure if I'm supposed to read these. Okay, so here's the first first one that I saw when it came out, and it's Hope and Oliver. So, uh, hold on, what's your name? Emily. Emily drew these. They are amazing. And then she drew this one as well. And I think it looks amazing. Does it look like me? Well, not with, not with the beard. I mean, of course not, but yes, that looks awesome. And it was in this huge, like, scotch paper thing, and it was like an almost impossible to open. So, <laughs> hi, Code. What's up? My name is Emily, last name, and I am nine years old. I decided to send you stuff because I really like your videos. I always watch your videos and you nows. Um, they are both enjoy me Roblox or other games. If you can send me a friend request Roblox, I would appreciate it. My IGN is uh, X underscore squishy girl X all lowercase. Thanks, Emily. Smiley face. Question. Are you and Cineac still friends? Yes. Yeah, we're still. Yeah, we're still friends. Like I talk to him every once in a while on Skype and stuff. Uh, and will you do another video with your kids? Absolutely. I will do more videos with my kids. Um, I'm just waiting for them to get a little bit older because um, we get crazy 
on camera. And what I mean by we get crazy on camera is um, there's just something about all three of us getting on camera that we start feeding off each other's energy. And then before you know it, before too long, there's like screaming coming from us. <laughs> Cause like Oliver, Oliver will go crazy and just start screaming in the microphone. And I'm like, dude, you can't do that. And then I get all frustrated and then hope gets mad at him and then they fight. And then it's this whole big mess. So usually it doesn't last more than 15 minutes. So in any kind of episode we could do 15 minutes or less, <clears throat> that would work. So, um, by the way, Emily, um, I don't have a return address, Emily. So I can't send you anything back. So if you want to, and if you have your parents' permission, shoot um, shoot me a note or shoot uh, one of my admins inside the Discord. By the way, huge shout out to the Discord for being so awesome and amazing. Um, I've been talking in there every day again. Um, I know there was a little break or a lull because of um, Thanksgiving and everything that was going on. But, <clears throat> oh wow, my, my voice is killing me. Um, if you could, or if you want to, you don't have to, but if you want to send me your address and I will make sure that I write you a letter back and that I get you a uh, signature on the letter. So, and that is it for fan mail. Oh gosh. Okay. Let's stop my character control function. Pause break. Where is it? Pause break. <clears throat> and he should stop. Should stop. Oh, he didn't stop. Why didn't he stop? Control pause break. Control pause break. No. All right, we'll just hit the little stop button. Tools. And on tools, stop executing. There we go. There we go. So, as you could see, my little character was running the entire time all by himself. Um, yes, you can automate him to do certain things, but. The only reason I was able to get away with it is because I'm seated at my chair. I'm watching him the entire time. I am here. And it's not, it's not unattended. I guess that's the term, unattended. So that's why I'm allowed to do that. Thank you everyone for watching this episode of Not Lumber Tycoon 2 with me, Sick Code Primate, AKA Sick Heath Haskins. Um, wish me luck. I'm going to, I'm hoping to get better and I'll take medicine. So love you guys very much. Have a great night. Don't forget to like comment and subscribe down below and do all those awesome things. By the way, um, I've been doing the hello juniper at the end of the videos and I don't know why, cause somebody gave me the suggestion I should do them at the beginning of the videos because people see this at the end, like don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and then they stop watching the videos. I don't know. It happens, but that's okay. Love you guys very much. Have a great night and let's get some sleep. Bye. Oh, wait, wait, I'm supposed to say outro. Thank you.